As a health foundation working for the people of Palm Beach County, Quantum Foundation knows that a passion for science is at the heart of any health-related career. We're proud to support Galaxy Elementary as a center for early science learning in our community, and we celebrate it as a place where children can reach for the stars. Galaxies are filled with stars, glowing balls of gas that make them shine. But what makes this galaxy, Galaxy E3 Elementary that is, a shining beacon of 21st century learning? I don't know, but I will try, and today I will try to find out. When you think of a school, you probably think of learning. And you probably think that learning takes place inside the school. But what if the entire school is a teaching tool? Could that be the secret to 21st century learning? Maybe. But what if it was also one of the healthiest and most environmentally friendly schools in the country? And what if that school had incredible community support and collaboration? Ah, it's enough to blow your mind. <laughs> Galaxy E3 Elementary. Hold, please. Just look at their name. Galaxy E3. And that stands for Environmental, Engineering, and Energy. And those are our three choice academies that we host here at Galaxy Elementary School. It's pretty fitting that one of the E's stands for energy, because that's just what you feel when you walk into the school. The energy of the students, the teachers, the principal, and the community. It took a lot of energy and support to make this school happen, because Galaxy was actually going to be torn down until the community came together to save it. So. We started doing that with um, a small group of community activists, if you will, Reverend Lance Cheney from St. John Missionary Baptist Church, Virginia Ferris with the Historical Society and the City Library were really part and parcel of helping us get together and raise funds because we understand that if you don't have good schools, you can't have a good community. The school is almost 90% free and reduced meals, making it one of the highest needs schools in the county. Design and construction started on the school in 2010 and was completed and reopened in 2013. If you create a great school, it is a source of economic development for our community. And what we decided uh, to do here is really provide a very unique experience in education that creates not only a great opportunity for the students that are here, but also a phenomenal development opportunity to bring the families back. Bring the families back and create not just a sustainable learning environment, but a sustainable community. So we're very proud of the fact that the building um, has helped revitalize this section of uh, Boynton Beach. And what they came up with is amazing. The second you walk in the door, you see this alligator. And uh, it's a real one. It's funny because the kids say, no, Mr. Capitan, I must be fake. I can see three cracks in it. And we're like, no, that's the safety lines holding it. Uh, we talk about native species like our American alligator, our whale shark. And then we also talk about the invasives like the Burmese python. But wait, there's more. This is just the entrance to the school. It gets even better. All schools have cafeterias, but Galaxy's Cafeteria is also a wonderment center. The dining room is also a huge science exhibit. So the labs that we have in that space that are all about the intermixing of those spaces and creating the very wonderment of science. The biggest private donor that we had was the Quantum Foundation. And it was important to them that the school have a place where kids can go and learn about science and the environment. And that gave birth to the, the concept of a wonderment center. It was an opportunity for us to promote STEM, the science disciplines, and for us, we're, we're, health, we're a healthcare foundation. So that eventually will lead kids into healthcare careers eventually down the road. The only difference with these cylinders, they're all 20 pounds, all four of them, is the number of pulleys. It really gives them an understanding. You can tell them that, that the pulleys will uh, you know, make work easier, but when they feel it, then it's, then it's real. Yes. 
so easy. We have a rocket and we're gonna talk about force. Three, two, one. So the walls teach, the spaces teach, the ceilings teach. It's just everywhere around you. And the idea is if you can engage the child, they'll remember. Well, this must be it, right? The thing that makes Galaxy Elementary a star of 21st century learning? Well, maybe. But wait, there's more, and it's right around this corner. Follow me. This is the Warren Hahn Science on a Sphere exhibit. It's like having a planetarium in the middle of the school. This is just a great way for the kids to learn about science in a way more engaging environment than in a textbook or just in the classroom. Over 800 data sets from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration provide students with a 360 degree view of planets, tides, phases of the moon, and so much more. We're the only elementary school in the entire world that has one of these. The Wonderman Center is awesome, and the science on a sphere is incredible. But there are even more amazing features that make Galaxy such a unique school. There are digital interactive projectors in every classroom, iPads and computer stations. As soon as I got to this school and started using this technology, I knew I wanted to be an engineer. Galaxy even has a 3D printing lab and robots. Robots! Good morning, Dallas, the E3 Elementary School. How are you today? Good. All this technology must be the key to 21st century success, right? But wait, there's more. Just look at these classroom doors. Well, no, there's nothing projected or flashing or moving on them, but they do open up. And that lets the classroom spread out into the hallway and allows for collaborative learning. You have to have space collaborate so people can collaborate. So those classrooms open up into that area and you have uh, an ability of, of uh, getting together and working on projects you wouldn't otherwise have in a separate classroom. What's 32 divided by 8? Check out the saltwater fish tank. The tank was donated by Living Color and featured on National Geographic's Fish Tank Kings. The fish tank is another great example of hands-on learning and a great way to teach about science, the ocean, and the environment. The third E stands for environment. And Galaxy is one of the most environmentally friendly schools in the country. We're 42% more efficient than, than the baseline school in the U.S. Well, what's behind me is Galaxy's ice plant. And this makes the cooling that cools the school during the daytime. And the ice is manufactured at night when the power bill is at its lowest. So that's where we have a big, big savings in energy. And that's where you'll really see the eco footprint of this school drop. So here at Galaxy, we've also incorporated photovoltaic technology which is all the PV panels on the drop-off canopy in the front of the school. And what, what those panels do is they convert the sun's energy directly into electrical current, which we would not have been able to do without Florida Power and Light. This area of environmental education, it's just a great natural fit for project-based hands-on learning uh, that students really get behind. They don't want to read about science, they want to do science. And with a building like this, and with those kinds of projects, that's precisely what they're doing. So what is it? What's the secret for successful 21st century learning? Is it the passionate faculty dedicated to a hands-on STEAM curriculum? The lead design? The technology? A building that's also a learning tool? Or is it all of this coming together in a big bang of collaborative support that formed Galaxy E3? Well, yeah. That's the formula for a school that inspires a passion for learning. These students have been given the tools and opportunities they need to succeed. They're ready, excited, and prepared for what's ahead.
When I grow up, I want to be somebody that's working with technology. I want to be a chemist. I want to be an engineer. I want to be a doctor. I want to be a nurse. I want to be an artist. I want to be a scientist. I want to be a teacher. I want to be a paleontologist when I grow up and they dig up dinosaur bones. It's like a dream come true to go to the school. Stephen Hawking said, look up at the stars and not down at your feet. Try to make sense of what you see and wonder about what makes the universe exist. Be curious. By providing a world-class school designed to inspire curiosity and wonder, we're giving the stars in this galaxy a chance to shine their very brightest. I'm Will Try, some science guy. Thanks for watching, and remember, Stay curious, there's always more in store.